Once you enter your exam, the welcome page for the exam will appear. It will include the amount of time allotted for the exam, which is 90 minutes for the CAP1 DBK assessment. Each section with the total amount of questions to be answered and marks for each section. Students will then need to scroll down and click on the green start assessment button. The exam time will only begin once this button has been clicked. At the top of the screen, you will see the countdown clock. To the right of this, the text can either be increased or decreased by pressing the A plus or A minus button. For each section, you can either expand the section introduction box or the question box by moving the mouse in the following way. To move to the next question, click the next button. You can flag a question. If you're unsure of your answer, you can highlight the question to remind you to return to that particular question. You will need to click the flag button in again in order to remove the flag. The overview button will show the student the overall question answered and which questions have been flagged. This is located at the bottom part of the screen. Students can skip to different parts of the exam. They can also navigate easily through the questions without having to constantly click the next button. Students can view the introduction page by clicking the introduction button. Section 1 of the DBK is documentation. There are five questions, each worth two marks. You'll be given documentation and must answer if you posted or filed. On the left hand side of the screen is the section text. On the right side of the screen, the question appears. This will be the same for section two, three and four also. For section one, you need to click on the resource button located at the bottom part of the page to view the documentation. To enlarge the document, click the expand button. To exit the document, press the X. You'll then need to select whether it is posted or filed. Section two is journal entries. There are 10 questions, each carrying two marks. You will be given a description of a transaction or a previous set of postings. From this information, you will be required to complete the necessary journal entry. Enter the figures into the value boxes below. Move to the next box, you can use the tab button for quicker navigation. Section three is reconciliation. There are 10 questions, each question carrying two marks. Students will be presented with background information and a request to calculate a single figure. Where appropriate, you will be asked to use the minus sign to indicate a credit balance, overdrawn balance, loss, etc. Students should be careful not to use the minus sign other than where the possibility is indicated. You will enter the figures into the value box. Section four is the trial balance. There is one question carrying 50 marks. You will be presented with some trial balance information and a series of standard adjustments. Using this information, students will be asked to prepare a sole trader statement or a profit or loss account and a statement of financial position. To view the trial balance, scroll down and click on the trial balance. 
close the trial balance, click on the X. As with section two, the student can use the tab button for quicker navigation when inputting the figures into the relevant boxes. Once a student wishes to submit their exam, they must click on the Complete Assessment button. A notification will then appear to confirm that you wish to submit your exam. You will need to click the Confirm button. A further notification will appear to confirm that you wish to finish the exam. Once the Finish button has been clicked, your script will be submitted. 